Google Play Games is the official Google Android emulator for any Windows computer which works on Windows 10 and Windows 11 and it will allow us to play any Android game on our Windows computer really lightweight no pop-ups no ads nothing so I've got it here on the screen and I want to share with you how easy it is to download install and use it and also the experience that I've had. Now talking about Windows 10 and 11 and if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper and besides Windows 11 Pro if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below now let's look at the screen we just need to write Google Play Games and we will find Google Play Games play Android games on PC press it and we will go to this page now at this moment I've got my login here so you just need to log in with your Google account once we do that we just need to go to the download better now we if we scroll we will have a button right over here and there are a few more buttons if we scroll down one of the things that we can check out is the system requirements so this is the minimum requirements operating system windows 10 or 11 storage we will need a minimum of 10 gigabytes available of ssd or we can try hard drives if you have hard drives a minimum of a intel gpu 630 a cpu with four physical cores eight gigabytes of ram and of course course the Windows administration now once we download the beta we just need to install it like any other app that we install on Windows and in no time we will have the Google Play games beta available I've got it right over here on my screen now in terms of navigation we will have here on the right side the library which are games that are already installed so I can just press the play button and play here at the middle we'll have some suggestions of some of the games and we can go to the library and on the library we will find games that we have installed on this computer and games that we have installed in the past on other devices that we have used namely android devices one of the things that i would like to see is a button here where i could delete from my history but probably i need to go to google page to do that now right over here we have the explore so we just need to click and then we will find a lot of games now i did scroll down and it looks like an endless line of games so i would say that most of the games that we can find on the google play store are available here and if they're not i believe that it's a matter of time until we have our favorite games here we will also be able to filter by the genre of the game so adventure board and whatnot and i can search right over here that being said in terms of the experience before we go and before you try it out i did try with five or six games first was angry birds and it was a great experience i feel that it's really lightweight unlike other emulators that we have tested and they are really heavy full of ads and right over here no ads are also really lightweight a great experience i also tested ladybug i want a vertical game so I did test out this one it's like subway surfer so really easy to play and to pass some time was not expecting any lag or whatsoever so the experience was really good next game I did try one ping pong which is a fun game but I would say that's uh, half an hour one hour playing and I would get bored but in terms of the graphics great first game a little bit more heavy was off the road which is a game that was the first time that I did test it out it's like a GTA kind of game game at least the style it's an open world game where we can explore or we can do missions or quests and i actually tried to do a quest it was a bit confusing so i did not finish it and i went around and around graphics wise and performance everything was really fun finally genshin impact which is a game that i love i play on high demanding android devices and i wanted to test out right over here what i do feel is that the emulator takes advantage of the hardware that we have available of course we have seen the minimum requirements but right over here it takes full advantage of the gpu that i have at this moment is a rtx 
30, 80. I've got an i7 CPU right over here. So everything was great. I did a few zooms so that we could check out the quality. And one of the things that I forgot to mention is that playing Genshin Impact and off the road, I was using a gamepad. So if you are looking for the gamepad experience on the computer, this is it using the Google official Android emulator for Windows 10 or Windows 11 computers. And that being said, at this moment is a good time to test it out. And if possible, leave down below in the comment section if you have tried it in the past, if you are trying right now, what is your feeling, what is your experience with it, and what kind of games are you playing. Hopefully the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.